Are you looking for the secret to losing weight after 40? I've got you covered, girl. Trust me. I was stuck for years, couldn't lose weight, but guess what? I've lost 36 inches and 30 pounds, and I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know for the secret to losing weight after 40. Tune in to learn more. Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Kelly Alexa, fitness fanatic, serial entrepreneur, confidence coach, and most recently, keto convert. That's right, keto convert. About a year ago, my functional medicine doctor urged me to go keto. And after my alarm wore off, I decided to take her advice and thank God I did, because that's gonna be a big part of what I'm talking to you about today. Yes, ladies, going keto combined with intermittent fasting and also extended fasting is one of the key secrets to weight loss after you hit 40. Because once you understand that what's going on with you once you hit 40 is hormones, then you understand that keto is one of keto combined with fasting and extended fasting or really all kinds of fasting. Keto and fasting is one of like literally the best solutions for hormones and I'm going to talk about that what I've learned uh, in this video and I'm going to share my experience with you how I struggled forever and then how I've gotten off that struggle bus, and again, how I've been able to lose 36 inches and 30 pounds effortlessly, enjoyably, and keep it off, and how you can too. So let's get started. All right, everybody, welcome back. I am uh, starting to, I almost said starting to develop my ketones drink as we are chatting here, but, uh, I don't mean develop. I just mean mix up my ketones. So I'm making myself, sorry, uh, making myself some heart tart, not ketones. Uh, in case you are, I always feel like this is a shake weight commercial when I'm doing this on video. Um, but exogenous ketones are what I'm uh, making here and drinking. I do these two times a day. Uh, I won't get into that too much of a detail because this is getting ahead of ourselves, um, but this is a big part of what I do. Um, exogenous ketones are what I'd call a supplement to the ketogenic lifestyle. Um, They're a huge, huge, I don't want to say secret, it's not a secret, but they are a huge secret to success um, because they curb your appetite, curb your cravings, and give you crazy energy. That's a side note. So let's get back to losing weight over 40. Ladies, let me, uh, here's what I'm going to, I'm going to, here's the outline of, of how I'm going to talk about this so that you know what this video will entail. I'm gonna tell you my story, my weight loss story, how I've been on the weight loss struggle bus, like probably most of you watching this video looking for help, um, how I was on the struggle bus for a long time, how I ended up finding my, my wonderful solution, how it is that I got here where I'm, just so that you know, I am now age 53, turned just turned 53 a month or so ago. It's Gosh, it's June now, so a couple of months ago. Um, I'm now 53, so over the last year, it didn't take me a year, but over the last year, I lost 36 inches and 30 pounds. Again, effortlessly, the easiest way I've ever lost weight in my whole adult life. It's, it's just been the most wonderful experience going keto, um, and I do consider it my lifestyle now. Um, I am at the phase now where I'm kind of moving into what I would call phase two, where I'm now starting to incorporate um, some new things. I'm incorporating different ways of fasting. I'm incorporating some high carb days, um, which allows me some, some new treats. Um, again, higher carb days, which is cool. Um, and, and that's awesome, but I've just been, it's, it's been awesome to lose weight so easily, to get a better body than I've ever had my whole adult life, 
I'm selling half of, uh, more than half of my clothes on Poshmark because nothing fits. I have to buy a whole new wardrobe. Best feeling ever, right? When I have spent so much of my adult life not fitting into probably the, the vast majority of what was in my closet, feeling uncomfortable in everything I wore. Um, to feel this great and then be able to just easily maintain it. That is the number one thing they say about losing weight is that it is the hardest thing once you lose the weight to keep it off. Let me just tell you, it has not been the hardest thing for me to keep it off. It has been the easiest thing for me to keep it off. I probably am more mentally paranoid about keeping it off than I am, you know, tactically or realistically. I don't know what the right word is. I mean, mentally, I think maybe I will get paranoid if I have you know, a few too many calories here or there. And then I start old diet mental behaviors where I'm like, am I gaining weight back? What, but, I, but I'm not um, because my clothes just, if anything, will fit more loosely. So I want to get you ladies excited, excited, excited about a future that can be yours. So let's dive in. Sorry, I get a little excited when I drink my ketones. Just not only because they taste so good, but for what they do for me. Um, sorry, I'm just being serious because the ketones have changed my whole life. In, and they, will, they change all my customers' life and they're just a life-changing thing. Um, so, you're watching this video because you're 40 plus or nearing 40 plus and you're having issues with your body because you're probably in that phase, just like I was right when I was turning 40, when all of a sudden my body was not acting the way it used to. And I remember being told that when you hit 40, your body will change. And I remember thinking, oh, come on, like right when I hit 40, my body's gonna act differently. I remember thinking that, like, that's so dumb. And sure enough, right about that time I was hitting 40, I was going through a divorce and the first symptom that I had back then was, was skin problems. I started to break out in these rock hard bumps, which incidentally I thought was retroactively, I thought that was the first sign of hormone problems. It actually turned out, we figured out later, it was not, it was, it was a, um, a food reactivity problem. But anyway, um, my hormones were definitely changing because very rapidly I was working with a trainer. I remember at lifetime fitness and very suddenly I just, I gained some weight around my middle. My boobs got really big and swollen. Um, and he said something to me, he's like, are you pregnant? I remember him saying that he's like, cause your boobs are huge and you're, you know, you've gained, you know, and he weighed me and, and my waist had gotten thicker. And I was like, wait, I don't understand. And he's like, are you, you know, he was asking me if I was snacking and I hadn't changed my diet. And usually that's, that's the key with women. They'll gain weight without changing their diet or they're working out and dieting and they suddenly can't lose weight. So if you're watching this video, you're probably in your forties, you know, it, maybe you're in your fifties, whatever there's whatever age range you're in, you're wondering why you can't lose weight. So part one is I, I hope, See, see, a lot of you might not realize that it, and this is important for me to, to call out, it's important for you to know that, pro, that what's happening is that you're going through hormone change. You're going into perimenopause and too many women, surprisingly. So for those of you that know that, I commend you. But please just bear with me for a few moments because you would be surprised how many women are going into their 40s and 50s and sometimes even later 50s who have not addressed or even acknowledged the idea of perimenopause or menopause at all. And what you need to understand is that if you don't address the fact that you're going into perimenopause, which will become menopause, which will then become postmenopause, your life, you're either gonna go down one road 
or another. And the difference between those two roads of life and the difference between your fitness life and your weight loss life, I'm talking like remarkable differences. The difference between your life if you don't address your hormones is like one, one life is gonna go dramatically downhill. <laughs> one life can go dramatically uphill. And I mean by uphill, I mean in like a great way. Your life, if you address your hormones, and by addressing your hormones, I mean naturally addressing your hormones with the way you eat and sleep and, and health and working out and, and also the way you don't work out, but also with bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment. Now, I'm not gonna get into all of that in this video, I talk about that in my other videos and I will be talking about that in a lot of my other videos. I also offer coaching services for both hormones and also keto and weight loss. FYI, you can inquire by commenting below or simply by emailing me at kelly at kellyalexa.com, sidebar. I just need to bring this up because it is amazing to me how many women and I was one of them when, when I was in my 40s. So many women, their bodies start to change. They're not losing weight or having issues with weight. And um, the only thing they're looking at is diet and exercise. They're treating it like a fitness problem, okay? And what you need to be aware of is there absolutely is a solution. And that's what I'm gonna to talk to you about today. There is a magical solution. I've referenced that. I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to tell you about my journey. But I do want to be very clear that your hormones are a very big piece of this. So I do want you to be very aware. For those of you watching this video, if you are interested in losing weight after 40, you've got to be looking at your hormones. And by looking at your hormones, let me also be clear, this doesn't mean going to your OBGYN and going on the pill to like address your heavy periods. I mean a bigger picture, a more long-term thing, addressing your hormones in a much more proactive way. And again, if you really wanna get into this, this is why you hire me for a consult, I'll help you through it. Okay, so my weight loss story is pretty typical. Age 40, my body started fighting against me. Um, you know, I'd been working out with a trainer beforehand um, at Lifetime Fitness, and very, I just remember very suddenly that I, I, he noticed it before I did. I remember him asking me if I was pregnant, more so because of my boobs than elsewhere, but I also, I also remember um, just starting to feel like I was gaining weight around my middle. And that's probably what a lot of you are noticing, that you're gaining weight around your middle if you've never gained weight around your middle before. I've always had a very hourglass figure, and I do remember that was one of the first things I noticed, even though I've always been very curvy and voluptuous with, with thick thighs and a butt and big boobs. I always had a super flat stomach and a really small waist, and when my hormones started changing, it was just very weird that, you know, like I didn't have, I started to have a, like a belly pooch and I started to just gain weight around my middle. I never had that before. Um, so that happened around 40 and, and I don't remember specifically. I do know that it wasn't by then. Um, it took a long time. So like a lot of you, I treated my, what was, what was going on, which was my hormone imbalance, I treated it like a fitness problem by exercising excessively and dieting excessively for years. And so, say hello to my dog, by the way, who just came home from doggy daycare. Um, so one of the things that I do wanna tell all of you is this, if you have been doing what I just said, which is dieting excessively and doing endless hours of cardio, that is not the answer to losing weight after 40. That is what so many women think is the answer and that is what seems to be common sense. 
your body is changing and so you think, well, I better work out more, I better diet more. That's not the answer. And in fact, even though it seems intuitive, it's actually counterintuitive. It's counter what you should be doing because the harder you diet, the more that you deny yourself food and nutrition and the harder that you work out, you're blasting your adrenals. Do you need me? My phone. Oh, it's right there on the charger. The, the more that you're like making your whole hormonal situation worse. And so that's what a lot of women are doing, myself included. And so again, that's why I brought up at the beginning of this video, you really need to understand that when your body starts to change around your 40s, acknowledge that you're probably going into perimenopause, understand that, address that, and if you can get yourself to get some blood work done, I'm gonna put a link below to a really great blood work company where you can order some great packages, get some comprehensive blood work done at really great reasonable pricing. Um, and then be a functional medicine doctor to have those, that blood work interpreted. Then you can get started. Just checking to make sure we were okay with the mic. Um, if you can, if you can, can do that as opposed to ignoring your hormones and just only focusing on trying to lose weight, you will be so much better off. Trust me. Trust me, trust me, trust me. So um, getting back to my weight loss story, I ignored my hormones for quite a long time until I ended up uh, befriending a very, uh, who's now a dear friend of mine, Whitney Jones. Um, she's a trainer. And, and an IFBB pro, and I was going to her asking for, you know, please give me a diet plan, please help me lose weight. And thank God, you know, when she did like a questionnaire with me, asking, they had like an intake form, and she, I was gonna be a client of hers. And when she read all of my answers, she's like, dude, you've been on the pill, you've been on all these antibiotics, you have a high stress life, you own a startup, you are, you've been dieting for all these years, you're on spironolactone, um, you, you know, this, 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 and this, all of these things, you're at this age, um, you need to get exactly what I'm telling you. You need to address your hormones, not just try to go on another diet, you know, because I just don't think I'm going to be able to help you. And thank God she said that because I think it was like for the next six months, she just pushed me and pushed me and pushed me and pushed me and pushed me to get my blood work done. And I got my blood work done, started to see a doctor. This was in 2015. And that's what got me started getting on bioidentical hormones and moving my body in the right direction of getting my hormones balanced. Now, let me be clear. When you get started on getting your hormones balanced, by no means do I want to suggest to you that it's a quick fix, that you get your blood work done and overnight everything's better. No. But it is far, far, far a, a better experience for you to do that and you're changing your future every month literally, accumulatively, than to ignore it. And I will give you an example. You know, before I got my hormones addressed, I was taking Excedrin PM every single night to fall asleep. I bet a lot of you are having problems sleeping. That's what happens when your progesterone starts to get out of whack. Within two days of going on bioidenticals, I was sleeping like a baby and not taking Excedrin PM anymore. That's how fast some of the hormones can, can correct you. Weight loss, sucktastingly, sucktastingly, is that even a word? I just made it up. Tends to be the slowest thing to turn around, of course. So um, what I will tell you is I started Bioidenticals in 2015. Even so, uh, I was still working out excessively and dieting excessively 
And even in these past five or six years, I was still on the struggle bus with weight loss. I was unable to really make an impact on losing weight. Um, I refused to get on the scale because I had developed this fear of what I weighed. Um, I had just progressively over the years because I had slowly but surely just gotten you know more weight gain around my middle. Um, I just felt more and more uncomfortable in my clothes. Um, and, and so the more that I got uncomfortable in my clothes, the more that I had gained a little bit, it, it just becomes like a sl slippery slope. It becomes something that gradually happens over time. And this pair of jeans gets too tight. That pair of jeans gets too tight. You go into your closet, uh, you know, and you try on a pair of, of shorts in the summer and they're so tight. And then you're like, what happened? And then you start wearing baggier pants and then you're really paranoid. And then you, you know, you're like, wow, I've gained more weight than I thought. And then you're scared to look in the mirror and then you're scared to get on the scale and all these things snowball. Can you relate? I mean, this, this is why, fast forward to today, by the way, I'm a big fan of weighing yourself every day. I'm a big fan of tracking all the time because if you're not, that's how these things get you get lost and that's how you can suddenly go and be you know surprised one day um, with something that you, you're not expecting um, sorry sudden eyelash in the eye so um, I had just gotten to the point where I, I just kept trying and trying and trying um, and here I was running a fitness company that I had founded um, I'm the head person, the figurehead, the spokesperson for my company. I'm known in the fitness industry and and I'm 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 the the I can't talk. I, I have my own blog, I have my own YouTube channel. Um, people know me as this fitness fanatic and yet I'm somebody who is just miserable in my own body. I couldn't get my body to respond to anything. Um, I didn't know it at the time because I didn't get on the scale, but I was for years carrying an extra 25, 30 pounds. The reason I say I didn't know it at the time is I just didn't know how overweight I was. I guessed that I was, here's the thing. Women never want to say how much weight they have to lose because that we're so paranoid about what other people will think about us. We always want to think that we only have five to 10 pounds to lose. We always want to think, oh, well, I think I need to lose five or 10 pounds. Nobody wants to say we have 20 pounds to lose or 25 pounds to lose or 30 pounds to lose. We just don't want to say that. Like that's, not, that's a bad number. What's a good number is, oh, I'd like to lose five pounds or I'd like to lose you know, maybe seven pounds or whatever, right? So I never wanted to say that, but I realistically in my head, I knew that it wasn't 10 pounds that I had to lose. It was more than that, but I didn't want to say it. And I knew, and I, but I didn't want to get on the scale. And, and anyway, when I finally did get on the scale, I was, so I'm 5'5", five five, I was 164.5. I am now um, 130, 133, 130, no, I think I'm, I forget what I was last time, um, but I've lost more than, so if I lost 30 pounds, that would be 134. I think I was, last time I weighed myself, I was 133, 132. Um, I haven't weighed in a while, but I am gonna start weighing again because I would like to lose maybe another five pounds or so. Um, but getting on the scale was such a traumatic experience for me and then what was so funny is that once i got on the scale all the fear was gone and i started weighing myself every single day and um what got me to get on the scale was going keto what got me to go on the scale was my husband who knew that i was doing this whole going keto thing why was i going keto i finally went keto because of my functional medicine doctor so all those years, I told you guys, I'm, I'm kind of wrapping up my, my weight loss story. I was, I was on the struggle bus for all those years. First, before I went on bioidenticals, then I went on bioidenticals, still couldn't lose weight. 
you know, and I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, and I'm not understanding. Why am I not able to lose weight even when I'm on thyroid medication, even when I'm on bioidenticals? And by no means do I want to discourage you from going down the route of getting on bioidenticals because I'm going to tell you what I've learned in this video. It's going to really encourage you and fire you up, okay? Because trust, just let me get to the point here. Don't be discouraged about getting your hormones balanced and on getting on bioidenticals because clearly I'm still on bioidenticals. I would never go off and I would tell every single woman because of everything else it does for you, you need to be on bioidenticals. It will change your future. And if you don't go on them, you may, basically might as well shrivel, <laughs> plan on shriveling up and dying and just looking 80 years older than you, than you need to as you, as you age. Nobody's got time for that. So I was on the struggle bus all this time, blah, 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 blah. I finally decided I had worked with two different functional medicine doctors. And I, about a year or so ago, a year and a half ago, I fired my last doctor, parted ways with him. That's a harsh word, fired. And hired a new doctor, Dr. Ruthie Harper in Austin, Texas. She is wonderful. She is taking new patients. She takes telemedicine patients. Um, hired her, best decision I ever made because she's the one who changed my life. Um, I had been in a reverse diet before I um, hired her and that was due to a, that was because of a trainer I had hired to help me heal my adrenals. The reverse diet that I did was also one of the best decisions I ever made um, because I needed to counteract the chronic dieting and the chronic working out I'd, I'd done. I've done a podcast about that. I've talked about that. I can answer questions about that. That's a separate conversation. Um, if you want to find out about my reverse diet, go to kellyalexa.com. Just search for in the search bar, reverse diet. I did a whole podcast on it. I'll link down below. Um, so I hired Dr. Ruthie Harper, did my initial consult with her. She reviewed my previous blood work. She said, I need you to give me another six months while you're on the reverse diet. I need to tweak your hormones a little bit more, and then your body will be ready to diet. So we had to get my body ready to diet. I had been chronic dieting for so long, it's almost like my body had forgotten how to, how to lose fat. And that is probably true for a lot of you. Some of you might need to do a reverse diet. I'm happy to talk to, to any of you about that and, and also recommend you know the people that I worked with if you'd like to work with a specialist. Um, so I did that, I waited patiently when she told me what diet I'd be doing and that it was gonna be keto, I was literally like, that is the last thing I wanna do. So if any of you are listening to me and you're like, oh, hell no, I can't believe I tuned into this video, I'm trying to lose weight after 40 and she's gonna tell me to do this stupid keto thing. Keto is a joke, keto is a fat. Keto is what you know all the losers do. Ke Everything you think about keto, please put it to the side. Because what I'm gonna tell you is I thought all of those things too. Every, every bad thing you think about keto, I thought all those things too. Guess what? Keto is the only thing I did not do all those years. In all those years, I could not lose weight. Even though I was in a 1600 calorie caloric deficit, working out six days a week, sometimes two times a day, with a trainer at Gold's Gym, like a badass, hardcore trainer. Think about that. 1,600 calories a day, seven days a week for the past 10 years, working out with the trainer, doing intermittent fasting, 24-hour fast mix in there, sometimes two days a week, working out with a trainer. I could not lose weight. I do keto. 1600 calories a day, the weight falls off and I have kept it off effortlessly. I am the smallest and leanest I have ever been. I haven't cheated on keto once. I have enjoyed alcohol. I enjoy foods. My husband's bringing home two delicious meals. Um, I eat foods I love. I've published a cookbook with delicious meals that would, my husband is not keto. And he eats the meals that I eat. I mean, granted, sometimes he eats non-keto meals and, you know, sometimes he eats bread in front of me and that's fine. But like 
when sometimes I, what I'm saying is sometimes I'll make a meal that's completely keto, like, like a turkey taco bowl or a beef taco bowl, and it's totally keto, but he loves it. Like my keto life has changed my life and not once have I ever been like, oh my God, I cannot wait to get off this diet. Not once, not once. We have a babysitter that we hire for our dog. Yes, we hire a babysitter for our puppy right now, okay? It's a long story. She likes Oreos. Oreos used to be my favorite thing in the world. Right now in our cabinet, there is a whole jar of Oreos. Let me tell you, in my previous life, never, ever, ever, ever would there ever be a jar of Oreos that would last a day in my cabinet. I haven't touched them. I used to buy a, buy a thing of Oreos from Amazon Prime and I would eat two sleeves by myself. I, now a lot of that has to do with ketones because ketones quash your cravings and quash your appetite like no other, but so does just living the keto lifestyle. Um, do you see what I'm doing right now, by the way? I don't know if you can see this. This is a lot of what I have to do now. So these, these were um, Lululemon pants. They still are Lululemon pants, but this is a big thing, a part of what I have to do now is I just have to pull up my, my pants all the time and see this, I should tilt this down so I can show you what I'm talking about. Like this top, this was a size large top that I bought in my previous, previous body. And now it, it's so big that if I pull it down, that's, that's how it fits me. And I always have to like pull up, pull up my pants. And my husband's always laughing at me. Furthermore, this is another funny point to make. People that watched my YouTube channel used to always write into me, sorry, fixing my hair, used to always write into me and say, Kelly, will you do, uh, would you do a, um, you know, do a full body uh, video, do blah, blah. I would never, ever, ever, ever show anything from here down. The fact that I just showed you like my whole body is, shows you how much weight I've lost because there's no way the past 10 years I would ever show you guys my whole body. But I'm, I'm totally confident. If you walked in my kitchen right now, I'd show you my whole body because I can stand in front of anybody. That's how much weight I've lost. Any one of you who's watching this video right now, I can tell you with confidence because I am now a keto coach. I coach women with, who are 40 plus. This is my passion. I coach women who are age 40 and older on hormones and on weight loss. I, and I now have a five day online keto boot camp course that I've made to be able to reach more women with this because I'm so passionate. I want women to know this is the secret missing link to weight loss for women with hormonal balance age 40 plus. It literally is. And you know why? Here's what I've learned. Here's the long and short of it. And I'm, I'm paraphrasing what I've learned from my doctor and also what I've learned in books. I'm doing a ton of reading right now. I just finished a great book by Dr. Mercola, um, Keto Fast, and I just ordered these two books. These are the ones I'm gonna be reading uh, to finish. And then there's another one I'm in the middle of right now. So you'll see a lot more videos coming up. Um, but essentially what I'm learning and what I've learned from my doctor is Women who are going into perimenopause and menopause, the vast majority of them, like myself, will develop insulin resistance to a certain degree. Some a lot more than others. I have insulin resistance. Um, and it can get worse. If you don't address your insulin resistance, it will get progressively worse. And then of course there are environmental factors and stress and food factors that can make your insulin resistance even worse, right? So. So many women like me are so hung up on things like their hypothyroidism and they obsess about that and they think that's why they can't lose weight when really it's an insulin resistance problem. And if you think about keto, keto and fasting literally takes insulin resistance and it's like, it, it's volcanic how it solves it. Because when I think about all the foods I used to eat, 
everything I was eating, even though it was so healthy and organic and perfect and clean and paleo, it was an insulin response every single day. It was so, I was living like the high carb life and I had no idea. And it was what every trainer and every single, you know, fitness influencer was telling me to do. And now that I didn't understand like why keto, it was so easy. I lost a pound to a pound and a quarter every week, just consistently. And it's been so easy. You become fat adapted and your whole body changes. I never once has the scale gone back up. It's just been consistent. Isn't that what we all want? Isn't that what we all want? This is your dream. I guarantee you that if you're watching this video and you're 40 plus and your body is fighting you, your hormones are jacked, you have an insulin problem, I can help you. So number one, please know you should be having a high degree of hope right now because just like me, you can transform your body. Trust me, if I can do it, and, and I did it at age 52, after not being able to do it for all those years, if you're 40, if you're 42, if you're 44, if you're 50, no matter what your age is, you can do it. I can help you. If you wanna work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I can help you. If you wanna take my five-day online keto bootcamp, where I'm essentially teaching you how to do keto the way that I have and make it a lifestyle where you can do it and not have to go through all the trial and error I did. Um, that course is going to be launching June 27th. If you want to get on the wait list, you can purchase that course for $197. But if you'd like to, here's a tip. I've got a keto cookbook. The link is down below. You can buy the cookbook for $27. Once you buy the cookbook, there's a link in there for 50% off your next digital um, product with Kelly Alexa. That can be the keto boot camp. So what you do is you buy the cookbook for $27. Then you need to email my assistant, Angie at KellyAlexa.com, immediately after you buy the cookbook. Send her the receipt or proof of purchase of the cookbook and say, I wanna get on the wait list now. We will invoice you. You do need to pre-purchase that immediately before the course goes live in order to get that 50% off. So you'll get it for 98.50 or essentially 20 bucks a day. That's an amazing deal. Um, so if you have questions on any of the above, if you have questions on working with me one-on-one, -on -one, if you have questions on really anything, leave them in the comments below. You can email my assistant, Angie at kellyalexa.com or email me, kelly at kellyalexa.com. Um, my husband just got home with our salads. It's perfect timing. I'm just finishing. Um, but again, you, my biggest hope for you is that you watch this video. I know what it, what it feels like to be where you're at. Have hope because what I did, you can do too. And you watching this video, I just want you to finish watching this video and go, just like I did, I'm gonna tell you one thing as I close this video out. When I was getting ready to go keto, I have a friend of mine and I'm gonna link her video up here too. Her name's Lisa Duncan. She's on YouTube, she's fabulous. You need to follow her too. Um, and she had gone keto, actually kind of more keto carnivore. And I was watching her videos cause I'm like, I can't go keto. And I watched her videos and there were three or four of them. And she was telling her story. And I watched her story where she told how she'd gone keto and, she, and it went so well. And it was me watching her story and hearing her success. And I sat back and I'm like, I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm gonna have her success. And I hope you watch my video and say that too. And then of course, you're gonna go click the link below, buy my cookbook email me and join me in my keto bootcamp. Okay. And then also make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell so that you're notified for all my other fabulous videos that are going to be going live soon. Thank you guys for tuning in. Remember you are just one change away from the most fabulous tomorrow. I will see you guys soon on the Kelly O show.